Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I said earlier, well, I just did this video on doing this, what I call a cross stitch or a stitch effect using the zipper tool, that the square would be the easiest one. And I'm going to show you why in the letter F. I just did one. So let's left click, right click, and then you need to convert it to a curve. So you'll have your nodes. And then get your node tool. And you'll see... The space between these two nodes is a lot compared to this and this one here. So if we did it right now and we started the stitch effect, let's go to 12 and then start adding here. You're going to see that there's, it's not going to work. So we need to add nodes to this process. And that's pretty easily done and, and you can do it. Just take your shape tool and select one of the nodes in a corner and then add to it. And it's adding it to the left. So we need to add about like that. We'll go to that one and add two clicks. And you could really get, let's don't add one there. Let's take that away. Let's leave that alone. But it's basically Corel's going that away around the product when we're adding. That's probably too many. Maybe we'll add one there. There's three there, but we only need two. And, and mathematically, you could do this. Uh, I'm going to try to find out a better way. We don't need a node there. And you just got to think about Corel's adding it the opposite direction. And that for the video is probably good enough. And then let's just zoom in here, take the distort tool, hit the star pattern or the zipper pattern. Let's try 10 this time and then start adding zipper frequency. And that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I would prefer, you know, to have a more even like I did on this one. I think I did a better job, but you get the idea. Let's go back and see how many nodes I had. And see, you could probably take out, you know, it just, there needs to be a node right there. Probably, you know, these are kind of spaced out funny. Uh, that could be, a, you know, adjusted. I'm going to try to figure out how to adjust these nodes equally. And if I do that, I'll, you know me, I'll make a video on it. But anyway, I hope that not only is it a stitch effect, but it also could be a cool font. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.